The Print of the Cuff, presented by IIFL Wealth and Asset Management, Corporate Partner AU Small Finance Bank, in alliance with Indraprastha Polo Hospitals, Airline Partner SpiceJet. Teacher's a little bit of Bharat Natyam teacher. Oh, okay. Now I'll have to see what to do. Okay. Very simply, since we're sitting on chairs. Right. Because I'd much rather get up and dance and, and move <laughs> and do a lot, a lot of things. But, for example, when I say dance has to live, okay? That is whatever... It's not enough to just put it out as a practiced movement. For example, we have this gesture and if I did this gesture, it's, it's very rare. It's, it, it shows this is a flower. It's a blossoming flower, right? I mean, when you look at it, it's, it's a blossoming flower. Right. So if I just practice it and say, you know, as long as I'm doing this, the flower is blossoming, the answer is no. 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 So what do I have to do to make it blossom every time? What do I have to do as an artist to actually make it come to life? Then we get into the, the world of energy, which is the inner reserve right inside the artist to say, can I bring, bring it to life? Can I actually see it come to life? Can I feel it? Can I, can I touch it? Can I touch its, its softness? Can I feel its fragrance? So it's, it's not enough to do. It means nothing. But if I put myself into it fully, if I'm, say I'm picking up something, for example, if I do this and I say, then it is, it is, it is breath, it is energy, it is emotion, it is this gesture. It's like, how is this? If, I, if it's something which is soft, then the way I pick it up would be this. So there is a, there is a gentleness, there is a sense of touch, there's a tactile of saying, how can I do it? It's not enough to say, then what am I picking up? Stones? What is it? If it's a flower, it's a creeper, it's, it's this wire. For example, if I pick up this wire, it, 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 everything requires an invested moment. Mm. So when we say this is energy, but it's also expression, it's also, I have to take this off, I can't do it with my classes, <laughs> to say, to say, I feel, I feel this flower in me. I feel myself awakening. So it's not enough, you know, we can't flatten it. It has to be lived and nourished and energized. And we say, you know, putting prana, like breath. Breath, yes. Breath. So it's like each time I do it, it's prana. It's how can I pour it into that? So then this is, is the breath is, it's the whole body. The torso is working. Actually, when you, it's the whole being which has to live. It's, it's not enough for us to be just with gestures because then it becomes like dumb charades, mm. which means nothing. So dance is like, can you imagine that every movement has to have that unique quality to it? Every movement. For example, if I do tree, right? I could do tree and say, this is tree. Because this is tree. Once I do this hasta and I do it, people who can read the dance, the question is, are you going to read it or feel it? Huge difference. So if I'm reading dance, I can say, if I do this, this is tree. But if I really want to do tree, I would. And then I'm saying, how does this tree feel? Uh, what is the strength of the tree? When So the movement itself has the strength, has the reach, has the spread. So then when if I do this and look up this much, then I can see foliage. I can see the, the, the huge tree. I can see a strong trunk. But that is because I am energizing this hand. I'm, so it, I'm giving it, I'm invested in it. I'm engaged with it and I feel it. I feel 
every moment. And that is what is so tough. So there is an emotional stamina, which is like a reservoir. We have to constantly help it. Because once, if that reservoir inside is dried up, we're finished. Because then whatever I do is going to be very flat. So it's like living a life where you say, can I, can I fill this reservoir? You know, what do I fill it with? How do I fill it? How do I continue to be inspired? So dance is like, you know, in every movement, every movement requires that attention requires that nuance, requires that gamaka, as we'd say. Like in music, we say gama, you know, gamakas. Those little nuances, that is it. So it's a very, uh, very evolved language of movement. We can call it what we want, but it is a movement language which is physical, emotional and spiritual. The Print of the Cuff, presented by IIFL Wealth and Asset Management, Corporate Partner AU Small Finance Bank, in alliance with Indraprastha Polo Hospitals, Airline Partner SpiceJet.